Not well known publicly, but Lord David Frost was a crucial part of Boris Johnson's government. In charge of the Brexit talks, he negotiated the withdrawal agreement and the trade deal with the EU. But he's now resigned, citing unhappiness with high taxes, the focus on net zero and Covid restrictions. In his resignation letter to the Prime Minister, Lord Frost said, You know my concerns about the current direction of travel. I hope we will move as fast as possible to where we need to get to, a lightly regulated, low-tax entrepreneurial economy. While on the COVID rule changes, he said, you took a brave decision in July against considerable opposition to open up the country again. Sadly, it did not prove to be irreversible. At the end of a rocky week for Downing Street that's seen a backbench rebellion and by-election loss, this was the last thing the Prime Minister needed. This is just the latest um, example of the government just being all over the place, not just on Brexit, but on COVID and I think the lack of leadership, the lack of clarity, the lack of steadiness in the cabinet is what's it ultimately uh, what's led to David Frost making this quite extraordinary decision on a Saturday night. Lord Frost's exit also throws the ongoing Brexit negotiations into uncertainty. Talks are due to resume with the EU in the new year, amid briefing that the UK could be about to alter its position on Northern Ireland. What Boris Johnson does next matters. Lord Frost was seen by Brexiteers as a guardian of Brexit. If he's replaced by someone who's perceived as a softer touch, then that could anger the very MPs who are already beginning to lose faith in the Prime Minister. Already leaked WhatsApp messages show anxiety among some Conservatives, with one describing Lord Frost's exit as a disaster and another saying it's a hammer blow to the Prime Minister. Whoever takes over now, is going to have to be just as strong and just as tough with the European Union because the European Union is not going to give in on this unless they really can show that the uh, United Kingdom government means what it says. Boris Johnson goes into Christmas week hobbled on many fronts and faced with tough decisions over Covid regulations. For now, ministers seem intent on waiting for more data before potentially tightening restrictions. But events have weakened the Prime Minister at the worst possible moment. Rob Powell, Sky News in Westminster.